so we are on to game number 38. Felix the Cat for the Game Boy. Came out in 1993. So in order for me to win, you'll notice that the time's a little different. I have to beat World 5 in not one hour, but 40 minutes. The game is pretty short, so that's why the time window is a little bit smaller. And if I run out of time there, I lose. So let's just hop right in immediately, shall we? You guys should be able to see it. Yes, you do. And that core is a bit loud. Don't you love it when certain cores are not the same volume as the other one you just used? Alright, as soon as I have control on the first level, I will start the timer. Alright, time starts now. I spent a while since I streamed this game. In fact, I did that just after doing the NES one. And that wasn't even the original plan. Is the Game Boy version the same as the NES one? Mostly. I think some levels are kind of condensed for the Game Boy style. But that's just about it. Oh, careful there. So as long as I keep moving at a steady pace, we should be okay. Go in here to get some more power ups. Now I can be the tank. So sometimes the tank's a little tricky to aim your shots, but keep your distance, and you'll usually be okay. I think in the Game Boy version, so it's a little bit more work to find some extra lives. Like in the NES version, you can get like lots of them. Ah, life-giving water, nectar of the gods. Is Huts nuts and milk and nuts and list? I'm pretty sure it is. You can type versus Hudson to see like uh, the complete list of what's there, roughly. I don't know if I've updated it since I removed some because of games that we've already done in that same series. I'm sure I still have plenty of hearts. Otherwise the magic downgrades. You can't have any of that. Blind jump, huh? Ah. Oh, wait, I got it back. Shit. Got it. Took one hit, but that's okay. <laughs> I 
I guess one thing to keep in mind is that compared to the NES version, there are no uh, cutscenes. So you just go straight to the next level. So I guess that's one key difference. Oh, I'm on an airplane now. Now I'm in business. Hey, Felix ain't even got goggles on. Does not want to get that wind in his eyes. I've had strong winds in my eyes before, it's not a good time. It's a pretty good time, for the most part. Oh, right, I gotta watch out for bats. Cause they could be hanging on to nothing and still find a way to hit me. Hit me? Oh no no, that's actually me getting powered up. I'm not a fan of me like getting a power up is just a poof. Cause I think when I get hit it's also a poof. So I don't know if I actually got hit or I hit them or I got powered up. Since it has like the same animation practically. At least that's what I notice. Got him. The projectiles don't go far. I mean, the game is still easy enough that even if you have projectiles that are short range, you should still be able to get through a lot of the enemies. That, like, having, like, full, r full range attacks is kind of not needed. I know these only serve to slow me down, but it'd be good to grab these anytime I can. Because if I start rushing too much, I'm probably going to put myself in a really bad spot. Like having my magic run out. And the last thing I want is for myself to get a little bit weaker. I could have just been taking my time. Oh. At least Felix is not lactose intolerant. Official game based on based on Golden Goose. 
Well, if it's unofficial, I usually don't count those, because you can make bootlegs on anything. I guess it's neat if it exists for people that want to check it out. I guess, but I'm, I'm not probably gonna go out of my way to seek like every bit of information on some games possible. Because if I do, I'm just gonna end up making my brain explode. And that's the last thing I need, since I already have enough in my library as is. The Titanic Ant? Which one? In what? Which one my favorite? Probably the NES because it's all it's all in color and it feels like a more full game. Like this is just the NES one, but more condensed to fit like the actual hardware it's supposed to be for. But I will say, like, uh, the Game Boy one is not bad. Because you can't really go wrong with either or. Do I have to... I do. I have to make these jumps to get to the exit. I have to make them better. Huh? Oh, Earthbound, okay. Too bad this dolphin can't just climb a wall. There, I got it. Okay, this one shouldn't be too bad either. Water levels in this game seem kind of tame. Compared to water levels in other games. Even if one person in the chat def definitely disagrees. Even though the music, I guess it makes you feel like you're gonna drown all the time, and for some reason, Felix doesn't have to worry about that because his snorkel has unlimited air. the machine of pure egotism. There's like a... What do you want as your submarine? What if I just had my own head? I think this one also screams at you. The door. I, I don't even think that sounds like a word. <coughs> I know it's supposed to be blur, but it looks like door. Yeah, Felix agrees with me too. Wait. 
Wait, is this the level I'm thinking of? That gave me a bit of trouble back in the day when I first streamed it. So I think you have like a natural time limit. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I just think in this one, you had more than the enemies to worry about. If I'm not looking at chat right away, it's because, well, I kind of have to concentrate on my own survival. Oh wait, that was World 1! World 1 was just one stage! Oh damn, I actually completed my condition much faster than I expected! That's right, the Space World doesn't even have a boss. That's good to know. That went really smooth! But I don't think I'm gonna get all easy ones from here on out.